Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, we're going to look at the Oregon Trail. This is the original Oregon Trail from the early 70s. It was modified a little bit for the basic interpreter in 1974 uh, and slightly updated again for the basic interpreter for 1978. So um, you can actually download this from GitHub if you would like. Uh, it's the same place I got it. I just compiled it all together. Um, basically a group of people got together and they reconstructed this program for to be run on a you know a modern computer um, Don uh, Don Powitz and Bill Hyman and Paul Dillenberger were the original three creators um, in 1971 uh, it was kind of a unique story about this um, they were I believe they were history teachers and uh, they coded this program up and the students used it for the school year. He printed out the program and put it in his back pocket and literally walked out the door with the uh, with that program and nearly forgot about it and, and uh, uh, which you know which would have been a tragedy because uh, we'd have never had the the Oregon Trail as as we know it. Um, but anyway, it uh, in the uh, Dropbox that I've set up for this video, uh, you're welcome to download the materials that are in there. Inside of there, you will have uh, this um, version of Oregon Trail. It runs on Windows. It's an .exe file. Um, I will also give you the article here that they reference to Creative Computing from 1978. Um, the way that it used to work back in the day, um, media was expensive. Disk media was expensive. So the way you could get programs on your computer is literally type the program in. So you can actually see the basic program in this article. And you, if you have an old basic interpreter, you can put it in. Um, in Windows 10, you can download QBasic from the web store. Give that a shot. Um, and inside of the folder that I have for you as well, there's a basic interpreter that was used for this particular version of the Oregon Trail. Um, this is what I used to uh, compile it into an exe file for you. Um, this is actually a fairly difficult program. There's no graphics. There's no fanciness to it at all. It's all uh, text-based. So this will probably be a very short video. Um, probably won't get very far. Um, but let's play the original Oregon Trail. As you can see, it's all... Um, all text based so we're gonna say yes to directions just so you can kind of get a get a feel for um, what's going on so we're starting in 1847 in Independence Missouri which is the same place we start with the other ones we had $900 saved up but we had to spend 200 of that on a wagon so we have $700 in which to buy oxen food ammunition clothing and miscellaneous supplies um, and it says, you know, you can spend all this money here at, the, at, you know, in the beginning, or you can save some and, you know, buy stuff at the forts, but that stuff is more expensive out there. Um, when you enter dollar amounts, don't use the dollar sign. So the way it works with the, the shooting or the hunting, it's how fast you can type the word um, bang. So uh, in this one, we're, I'm not very good here, so we're going to say we're shaky knees. How much do you want to spend on an oxen team? So if you put in a number that's too low, like $100, it'll say that's not enough. Let's try 150, not enough, 200, okay. How much do you want to spend on food? We'll give them 200, ammunition. So we're up to 500, 600. So um, we just started, we have 200, I guess this is in pounds, 5,000 bullets, 50 of clothing, and 50 of miscellaneous, and $100 in cash. So um, I'll just do hunting just so you can kind of see what, what this looks like. Do you want to eat? I guess we'll eat moderately. Uh, riders ahead, they look hostile. Uh, let's just see if we can get by them. Okay, so we did get by them. We went 191 miles. It is now April 12th. Um, sure, let's stop at the next fort. What do you wish to spend on the following food? Ten bucks. And Alright, you want to eat moderately. See, it seems like we always have this rider's head kind of thing. Um, I know at some point we're going to have to type, uh, 
Okay, well, you, the faster you type, the better off you do. And it, you need to make sure your caps lock is on because if you type it in lowercase, it doesn't work. Um, okay, so we're still doing okay. We want to continue. Um, let's see, moderately. Like I said, it just mainly seems like we just have these riders ahead. Um, let's just try to run this time. And, okay. Let's continue. Moderately. Like I said, it doesn't really, it's not like we have conflicts like we do in the, in the original as much. Let's see, they look. Let's do, why not? Let's encircle wagons. All right, so we're still doing okay. Let's see if we can hunt this time. Uh, let's eat poorly. I don't understand this hunting thing. Cool. All right, so we got a big one. Um, well, so we we're doing well. We're a thousand miles out. Um, let's just continue. If you want to eat, uh, we'll eat poorly for a little while. Uh, yeah, I typed it in wrong. Um, well, since we missed our food, <coughs> continue. Let's try to hunt again. Uh, we missed. <laughs> this is actually a little harder than you would think. Um, let's stop at the next fort. Let's get some um, food. Eat. Let's eat moderately. So, 2,000 miles out. Let's see if we can hunt again. Well, I guess that's going to do it. Uh, after our little charade there, we uh, we got um, we got killed. So, would you like a minister? No. Would you like a fancy funeral? No. Next to Ken? Yes. And then that's the end of the game. Uh, the game, is, to me, is a little buggy, but, you know, uh, it's an older game. So, guys, that's going to do it for the uh, Oregon Trail. I uh, hope to see you on the next one.